how to set up your limb ripper from Spirit Halloween. Your parts list is as follows. Base Legs Support poles Pants Torso frame Hip boot Back frame And shoulder support Head Shirt Arms Hands Locks and UL adapter. First place the base where you plan on using your limb ripper. Note that the long part of the base faces toward the front. Snap lock the feet into the base by using the snap lock pins. Then snap lock the support poles onto the top of the feet. Slide the pants over the support poles and legs. Carefully snap lock the torso frame onto the top of the two support poles. Then, attach the hip hoop by inserting the two pins into the pre-drilled holes on the torso frame. Attach the top of the pants to the hip hoop by using the velcro strips located on the top of the pants. Attach the shoulder support to the top of the torso frame by inserting the pins into the pre-drilled holes on the torso frame. Then attach the back frame to the back of the torso frame by again inserting the pins into the pre-drilled holes. You will notice a volume control knob on the module. Adjust this as desired. You will also notice an activation toggle switch. Adjust this as desired as well. Now plug in his UL adapter and run the other end down the pants. If you plan on using a try me button or step pad which is sold separately, insert the pin into the jack on the module labeled try me. Now slide the shirt up and over the shoulder support and torso frame. Carefully attach the head by inserting the two pins into the pre-drilled holes located inside of the shirt on the torso frame. Open the back of the shirt and attach the sensor coming from the torso frame onto the front of the shirt by using the included velcro strips. Then attach the wire coming from the head to the corresponding wire coming from the torso frame. Also be sure none of the wires are able to get caught around the rotating motor. Roll up the sleeves and attach the arms to the torso frame by inserting the pins into the pre-drilled holes. Then, attach the hands to the ends of the arms by once again inserting the pins into the pre-drilled holes and roll down the sleeves. Adjust the clothing, plug him in, and your setup is now complete. If you feel that parts may be loose or could fall off easily, use the included locks to secure the pins. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to ask me in the comments. Thank you and happy haunting.